Hi there, uh, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar. I just wanted to do a uh, quick video uh, to show you what's been happening. Um, I've got this uh, Chargery BMS. It's, a, it, it's okay, I can't figure out how to use it. There's no instruction booklet or anything. It was inexpensive, it does a lot of stuff. But um, basically what we got is one, two, three, and four. I'm at 14 volts. This is where things start to become out of balance. The cells, one, two, three, and four become out of balance quite quickly. Um, you can see I have my solar system's putting in 26 amps, 27 amps. Okay, so what happens uh, is, what's happening is up until about 14 volts, they stay balanced fairly well on their own. Um, but what's happening, at least what happened yesterday, is once it got about f above 14 volts, number one just shot up way faster than everything else. And it got, uh, uh, and so that caused it to the other, the other cells not to, um, you know, fully uh, charge. You can see here, uh, this is going to tell you the difference, the differential between the highest and the lowest. Um, it usually stays when you're down around, you know, 13.5, anything below 13.8 volts, 13.6 volts. It stays in the well. Let's say 13.6. It stays in the uh, under 20 millivolt difference. Right now, we're starting to see 80 millivolts, um, and I think it's just going to keep on rising and rising and rising. So, uh, where there you go, 14.1. A little bit off of what this meter says is 14.03 for the uh, total, but. There you go, 107 millivolts right there. So basically, power's going in. The batteries are really, really, really close to full, and one or two of these batteries is going to get full or faster, and then that's what's going to spike the voltage on it. Of course, we're trying to, or not trying, we absolutely have to avoid an overcharge. Um, 3.65 3 volts is the maximum for um, this particular battery uh, per cell. You. you and, and, and you just don't want to go over that really. So you can see I'm already at 3.62. It's going up fast. It's going to, it's going to go above 3.65 super fast. There we go, 6.1. Um, the rest of them are 4.9. We've got a 130 millivolt difference, 6.2. Uh, and the other ones aren't, this is doing a lot better than it was, yet, the one, what it was doing yesterday. Um, the number one cell was spiking quite a lot higher. Uh, and the other ones weren't even close. It was it, it got above 3.65, and the other ones were down below 3.4, more like 3.32 or something like that. So, the, the of course the critical key, and this is supposed to do a, a 1.2 amp balance, but I, I can't tell if it is or not. It doesn't seem to really be doing much. Maybe I don't have it set right. But like I said, a lot of the problem with some of these import units is that they don't have instructions on them. Um, so there you have it. That's uh, again why we need to have a adequate balance. This is uh, supposed to be a maximum of 14.6, but if we go up to 14.6, we're gonna make cell one go spike way high. These are gonna be under, under, under. This is gonna be way over. And, um, and you can see 3.65, there you have it. So now I can't really let it get much above that. I'm gonna have to you know, start doing stuff like Turn on, you turn on my inverter. So there you go. 14.2 is about the maximum I can get that pack to without having a uh, you know real heavy duty BMS on there that's going to discharge 3.67. So I don't want that to happen. I'm going to have to start doing stuff like turning on my inverter. I'm going to have to do stuff like turning you know turn my lights off. Of course, don't do what I'm doing. Spaghetti noodle of wires is really bad. You know, spiking your voltages and stuff is really bad. I am just 100% doing this to learn. I'm manually controlling this. I'm manually balancing this. Do not do this. It's purely for education. So what we want to do, of course, is have do it one time, do it right, have all the wires everywhere bundled, and none, none of this stuff right here um, off the side. You can kind of see. We just want to have it nice and clean and safe. So um, there you have it. Why I can't go very high um, and fully charge this battery without a, a quality proper BMS. Miles, Light Harvest Solar, www.lightharvestsolar.com. Thank you. Bye.